Oh, hello, my darling Coco Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Coco Peru, coming to you again from the Coco Room here in Van Nuys, California, where I'm, oh God, trying to enjoy the little things in life that someday I will realize are the big things. And today I thought I would um, share a little something with you that brings me much joy. I, um, as some of you know, I was in the film, Tu Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. In the very beginning, it was small. I'm not going to tell you the whole audition process story uh, because I've told it in interviews before. But anyway, I really didn't think I was going to get in the movie, and I did. And one of the greatest, there were two wonderful things that I loved about being in that movie. Number one was that it was the first time I was around a lot of other drag queens. And I had so much fun with them. And and some trans girls as well that were in that movie. And we had so much fun together. And I we came from different worlds. And and drag was what we had in common. And I, I was so interested in their stories. And I heard so many great stories from other drag queens and trans girls on that film. So for me, that was a there was a sisterhood there uh, that I hadn't experienced before. And then the other thing that I absolutely loved was that I got to meet not only the three leads, but especially Patrick Swayze, who was so sweet and handsome and darling and kind. And he would call me at home and interview, not interview me, we'd have a conversation, but he was really researching his character. So he would ask me about my family and what it was like being gay and a drag queen, all that stuff. And he was just such a gentleman. And when the... Uh, filming was complete. Um, and I remember one time before I get into this, uh, he had invited some of us to his um, restaurant for dinner. I guess it was the closing party type of thing, but it was at his restaurant in New York City at the time. And he, at one point, I was much thinner. He pulled me onto his lap. Oh, God, it was just so lovely. Just being pulled down onto Patrick Swayze's lap and there happened to be some press there and they snapped a photo and that was in the, the newspaper the next day. Me sitting on Patrick Swayze's lap. Anyway, um, he sent uh, me this little gift here and uh, it's a little Tiffany compact mirror. It says, if you can see, um, Miss C Love P.S., and then here's a little note that came along with it, which I stupidly folded in half. I don't know what I, it's when you're young, you don't think ahead. And I just, I put it, I, I, I fold it in half to shove it in the box. But it says, to Coco, you have too much talent for one being. Thank you for your inspiration. Love, Patrick Swayze. Oh my, too much talent for one being. I think it bears repeating one more time, darling. Too much talent for one being. You hear that? I mean, I would never say that about myself, but Patrick Swayze said it and I, I happen to agree with him. Anyway, oh, I just, anyway, I was so flattered that he sent me this gorgeous Tiffany gift. And not long after I got it, I was on the phone with my friend, Hedda Lettuce, another iconic drag queen. And, uh, so funny. And, uh, you know, I, happened to drop the fact that, uh, well, you know, Patrick Swayze, he uh, got along so well, you know, but I think I really inspired him very much. And uh, he happened to send me a little gift from Tiffany with a note, a little compact mirror. And <laughs> without a beat, had a letter says, girl, he sent each of us one of those. I was so mortified. I couldn't, here I was thinking I was so special and he had sent every single one of the girls a mirror. But anyway, I, I don't care. It was, um, you know, leave it to a sister, you know, to really bring you right back down to reality. But uh, here's, here's the other thing. I'm so upset with myself, darlings. I'm just so mad at myself. It's such a typical Coco thing that I did. When I pulled this mirror out, it, it's silver. It had tarnished, you know, so I got out my silver cleaner and it came out nicely, but there was still a little mark there. And instead of just leaving it alone, typical Coco Peru, I've got to, you know, 
and I grabbed this other product that I thought was something that I used when I cleaned my mother's silver. Or sometimes when I visit, she asked me to clean a couple of things and I rubbed it on there and I ended up scraping it. I don't know if you can see it there. It is scraped somewhat. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, I was so, I'm just beside myself. You know, and I could hear my mother's voice saying, I can't have anything nice. Why can't I ever have anything nice? You know, that's all I ever heard growing up. Remember one time my mother bought a wool coat for herself which was a big deal because we didn't have a lot of money. And she spent this money on herself and, and it got moths, you know? And uh, that's all I heard. Oh, I can't have anything nice. Why can't I have anything nice? Another time she bought herself a blouse and she had put it on. She got all dressed up and realized she had left the tag on. And she asked me to cut it off. And she was making such a big deal about, make sure you don't cut a hole in my blouse. You, you know, I got so nervous. I ended up cutting a hole in her blouse. You know, and then I had to live with, you know, I can't have anything nice. The whole meltdown. So that's all I hear. I, I did this and I'm I'm just kicking myself. I scraped my mirror that I've had for, you know, 20 something years. Anyway, um, but it reminds me, darlings. It reminds me. So this is what I'm celebrating. This is what I'm going to focus on today. That um, it's just an object. Really. All of this that we have in lives, these objects, they're just objects. If there's anything I've learned since this whole um, virus started is, you know, and, and even b back with the AIDS crisis, when it's just, it's just things, really. And all of it could be taken away at any moment, in a nanosecond. And what we have to celebrate are the memories we attach to these things, right? So I'm celebrating uh, Patrick Swayze and my wonderful memories of such a gentle man and I'm celebrating head of lettuce, you know, keeping it real and how are my drag sisters can just, you know, bring me right back down to reality with a little bit of shade. And, um, I'm also celebrating. What was the other thing I was celebrating? Oh, that th these are just things, just things. And, uh, I'm celebrating the memories that we attach to these things. Cause that's, what's important. All right, my darlings, that's my little story for today, and I'm sticking to it. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.